The word triangle inspires us different things. Mystery, controversy, galleries, or eighth graders' nightmare. Ever wondered how we could use these abstract rules in a practical way? Like calculating the radius of the Earth? Well, let me first take you back to 2nd century BC where that distance was needed. Indeed, Aristarchus was very close to his goal, but he still needed the radius. Eratosthenes found the same decade, but I'm going to show you another method. Alberoni's way to proceed was, he simply took a shovel and started digging the life out of it. And that is a joke that I hope you'll get as much as what he did. Alberuni started off by measuring the height of this mountain. He got the first angle, moved to B, got the second angle. I'm going to stop talking now and let the mat express itself to you. Feel free to rewind or pause if needed before moving to the next step, which is hugely exaggerating the size of the mountain and supposing you're climbing up there. If you look down then look straight ahead, this right angle will be formed. Then if you look down again and slowly tilt your head up until you're looking at a flat surface, you will form this tangent to the earth. That is how simple trigonometry, even my fortnight addicted little brother can do, makes it with a bit of imagination, can lead us to know how big the planet is. And now that we can calculate the radius with these values, let me show you why our circus needed it in the first place. He needed it in this equation that I found through some other interesting triangles again. And before I make him perform my favorite sport, which is jumping into conclusions, let's check if it was right. I'm going to take the easy way, which is internet. <laughs> oh boy, was he wrong. It's 109 times bigger, not 6. If you wonder why he was so wrong, it's not because of his method. His method was right. He only didn't have the right tools to measure the angles. But still, he proved that the sun is bigger than the earth and here's where he could have played the sport. He could have proved geocentrism wrong or at least shake it. How? by asking this simple question. If the sun is bigger than the earth, why would it rotate around it, since it's the insect that rotates around the lamp and not the other way around? 